Bushido, often referred to as the Samurai Code of Chivalry. It stirs up images of noble and fearless warriors, fiercely loyal to their comrades, living and dying by the sword, choosing death over dishonor. There is no doubt that the way of the samurai continues to have a hold on the public imagination. But what exactly was Bushido? Firstly, Bushido is composed of three Japanese characters. Bushi means warrior, do means path or way, as in judo, kendo, shodo, etc. So Bushido literally means the way of the warrior. According to Wikipedia, it was a philosophy and way of life used to guide samurai into correct action in all aspects of their lives. Bushido, according to Wikipedia, is believed to have developed in Japan sometime between the 11th and 14th centuries and was heavily influenced by other Eastern philosophies such as Chinese Confucianism, Shintoism, and Zen Buddhism. It was formalized during the Edo era, a period characterized by civil order and a strict social hierarchy with samurai firmly at the top. Wikipedia also lists the set of key virtues, integrity, courage, compassion, respect, sincerity, reputation, responsibility. All sources show these same seven virtues. Some sources, including Wikipedia, also list an extra eighth virtue, self-discipline. So, are there seven virtues or eight? According to Wikipedia, these virtues were first codified by a chap called Nitobe Inazo, who lived during the Meiji period, but this period was well after the samurai heyday. Furthermore, being a samurai was essentially made illegal during this period, due to Japan's desperate attempts to westernize by discarding the old social hierarchies. So were these virtues of Bushido really a thing? In 2014, this guy called Rich wrote an article on our topic. The article states that the virtues of Bushido, along with the very concept of Bushido itself, were flat out made up by that Nitobi guy I mentioned before. Nitobi wrote a book titled Bushido, The Soul of Japan in 1899, well after the samurai way of life had disappeared. He wrote it in English for a Western audience and compared samurai ideals to Christian concepts in order to make Japanese culture more palatable for Westerners who were just starting to learn about this mysterious Asian country. It's a highly romanticized account of samurai culture, essentially the Japanese equivalent of Victorian artists and writers idealizing the European medieval period of chivalrous knights and courtly love. It is in this book that these eight samurai virtues are first mentioned. Does this mean that Bushido is a load of bullshit, as the aforementioned article claims? Yes and no. Whether or not Bushido was historically a thing is debatable. The writer of the article claims that it has no historical roots, and that the term Bushido was invented by Nitobe in his 1899 book. However, the Wikipedia states that this term had been used before in a couple of books. Kokon Bushido Ezukushi, Images of Bushido Through the Ages, by artist Hishikawa Moronobu, 1685. Koyogunkan, a record of military exploits of a high-ranking family, published in 1616. This all suggests that Bushido, as a real well-known and widespread moral philosophy, doesn't have genuine historical roots. It is a nostalgic fantasy created via a very romantic and optimistic interpretation of history. Moreover, the virtues in Nitobi's book are not part of a well-known samurai code. They are merely eight virtues that Nitobi considered important in Japanese society and that he thought the samurai ought to have lived by. In his book, Nitobi discusses each of these virtues and makes great pains to show that each one has an equivalent in Western Christian tradition. His book is not so much a historical document as a promotion of Japanese values as being congruent with contemporary Western values. He makes a lot of comparisons with European chivalry and cites an impressive number of passages from the Bible. From reading Nitobi's book, the reason why some sources list seven virtues and some sources list eight becomes apparent. Nitobi devotes a section to each of these seven virtues. Rectitude or justice. Courage, the spirit of daring and bearing. Benevolence, the feeling of distress, politeness, veracity or truthfulness. Honor, the duty of loyalty. Then he talks about samurai education and training, and after this he describes an eighth virtue, self-control. Clearly, some readers thought that his talking about education marked the end of the list of virtues, whereas others chose to also include self-control, 
Having said all this, regardless of the above criticisms of the historical accuracy of Nitobi's book, it cannot be denied that this concept of Bushido has greatly influenced modern Japanese society and culture. In business, martial arts, the police force, and the modern Japanese National Self-Defense Force, many Japanese organizations have utilized the ideals of Bushido to inspire their members to be the best versions of themselves. To conclude, Bushido as a moral code has a complicated and misunderstood history. Thank you very much for watching the video and staying with Chronicle Canvas. Share in comments your ideas for the next videos and subscribe to not miss them. See you next time. Goodbye.